Frank here again. Today I'm going to be upgrading the keyboard on this laptop to a backlit keyboard. This is a Dell Latitude E6420. So first things first, there are two screws here. Take a Phillips screwdriver and undo them. Alright, well once those screws come out, then flip it over. Yeah, this is my laptop. I did it on everybody's but mine. So, I'm going to go ahead and remove the trim here along the edges. So just pull up a little bit and then take a plastic spudger like this and run it around the edge. Just basically popping the clips. So once you do that, the rest here is kind of easy. There we go, put it off to the side. Now I'm going to unscrew this keyboard. So it's going to be the two screws directly to the left of these buttons here, and the screw there, and the screw over here. So undo all four of those. And now I'm just going to kind of lift this side of the keyboard up to pop it off the clips on the side there. And then don't just jank it out, please don't do that. You have to undo the cable. So there's a little clip. I'm going to flip it towards me, pop the cable out. Old keyboard will go on the side. But... So actually before I put that away, if you notice over here on the right arrow, there is no icon. This is a backlit keyboard. It has this icon on the right arrow. So if yours doesn't have this, it's not a backlit keyboard. So if you ordered one and it doesn't have this, you got screwed. Alright, so to get this new one in there, and I noticed this here is a little tricky, um, it's a little tricky to do. You get the keyboard in place, and you don't want to pop this all the way in there, because by doing so it doesn't seem to work, the backlight. So I'm going to pop it in just far enough for the keyboard to light up. Almost at it. There we go. So it's lit up, I pushed it down, I'm just going to pop this keyboard down and before I put the trim back on and put the screws back in place, I'm going to want to test it. Because right now, it's not going to work. So I'm going to go ahead and shut the computer down. Now I'm going to turn it back on. And as you can see by restarting the computer, um, it now recognizes the input from the keyboard and you have the backlight now with the varying levels one two three four off so I'm gonna put the screws and trim back on so with those screws back in I'm just gonna go ahead and put the trim back on so there are these two little tabs one here one over here pop those in first and then get the middle so once the middle's in just kind of push around the edges You might have to go around a couple times, just saying. I know. So the last thing I'm going to do is close the lid. And now I'm going to put these two screws back in. So that one, it's not really catching. So what I'm going to do is lift this up a little bit put my hand underneath to kind of push on the keyboard as I tighten the screw there we go nice and tight so just put the other screw in and if it's still kind of loose and not really going in then just do the same thing push tighten okay And there you go. So it turns off after a couple seconds and you just tap it to turn it back on. So that's how you upgrade a uh, keyboard to a backlit keyboard on a Dell Latitude E6420. Thanks for watching.